goods and services. I'm a master crocheter with more than 30 years experience teaching and traveling all over the world. And today I'm going to teach you a little bit about gauge. You see I have a skein of yarn. This is worsted weight yarn. In other words, it's made for clothes. And shortly I will be showing you how to make a scarf, hat, and mitten set with both of these skeins of yarn. One, one, two. But I'm going to use them right now to teach you a little bit about gauge. And gauge is important because different people will crochet in different sizes. I have huge hands, so my stitches tend to be very huge. Other people may have smaller hands, so they will have smaller stitches. Other people may choose to use a different size hook or a different thickness in the yarn. And all of these will affect the final gauge, the final size. So in order to determine the correct size, we need to have a right way to gauge all sorts of crocheting for every pattern. I'm living in America right now, so I will be using the inch system. Most tape measures in America will have the inch system on one side and the metric on the other. Let me show you what I mean when I say gauge. Patterns will say something like chain 51, and then it will say something like gauge, three chains is equal to one inch, something along those lines. Well, if I chain 51 on this, I'm not gonna chain all 51, but I'm just gonna show you. Pretty tight, pretty small. See? Take the same yarn and let's use a much bigger hook. Ah. On this one, you can see we chained one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven chains right there. Let's chain the same seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Much bigger. See? Do you see the difference? Same seven chains, but this set is considerably bigger. This set is considerably tighter. This is why gauge is important. If I need to chain so that something is only, say, two inches, and I chain with a very small hook. That's gonna be about 10. And see, that's about two inches. With a very large hook, For the second, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With a very large hook, it's only about, I should say eight, not seven, it should say eight. That is a two stitch difference, and that is a lot. That will affect your entire pattern. So always 
work on your gauge first. And I'll explain exactly what a gauge is later. For now, I'll explain exactly uh, how to measure your gauge later or where it is on a pattern later. But for now, just know that it does exist. And thank you and have a great day and happy stitching.